our workhorse, the Black Magic Design 4K Cinema Camera. Guys, good. Now, I know you probably see a lot of reviews of this product on YouTube already, but we're gonna do it slightly different. We have been using this baby for at least six months now at work almost every day. So we're gonna do this in a pro and con format. Good point number one. It is still the cheapest cinematic camera you can find in the market. What else is there for you to complain about? Good point number two. It is 4K. Now, 4K is not just good because of the resolution that you get. Take a look at this video. We're not even sliding it when we were filming it. You slide it in during post-production. Good point number three. It is very small for camera that can do so many things. I don't know, but you know, every time I get a new job, I am required to film in the car. Now, if you're talking about filming in the car and putting a camera in front of the dashboard, not needing to remove the windscreen, you better have this one. Just use a GoPro. Everybody was thinking that you can use a GoPro on the dashboard. This is different. When you have something like that mounted on the dashboard, you can go as low as T1.5 and still rack focus. Take a look at this footage that we filmed for a client, the Ministry of Transportation. As you can see, we can make the background very shallow. Let me see you do that with a GoPro. Good point number four, global shutter. If you're a DSLR filmer, you understand what I'm talking about. One of the biggest disadvantages of a DSLR filming is that it uses a rolling shutter. So which means that if you were to have your subject moving horizontally and then you're panning horizontally, you're gonna get this jello effect. Now, with the black magic, you will not have that problem because the whole data from the sensor is now read off line by line, like a DSLR. It will be read globally. <coughs> <coughs> And here you have the industrial standard of pulling your display from the camera to your director's monitor, the SDI. Now, what I really like about the SDI is that you can really pull this a long distance. Look at the cable that we have. And the Blackmagic camera comes with the SDI out. And what I like about this, you can daisy chain this. All you need to do is go ahead, go to their website, and purchase these SDI converters and this is the SDI to HDMI we have one of these, it comes with a built-in battery the other one, you can power it externally and what I like about it, look at this you can go up to 12 volt and it's a huge range of voltage that you can stick into this and it's dead solid but one thing I can tell you do not connect your SDI directly to this Go ahead and make yourself one of these. Among our crew, we call this the pigtail. So this is the one that you're going to connect to your SDI port. And if there's any removing in between scenes when you need to move your camera around, remove from the pigtail. Because the last thing that you want is to have this port here spoiling on you. Mounts. That's what I like about the Black Magic. You have a choice of the EF Canon mount, or the PL mount, or even the Micro Four Third mount. You guys at Black Magic Design deserve an applause. What I really like about you guys is you have a simple port to power this. Now, you have this 12 volt to 30 volt range. That's 12 volt to 30 volt, which means that if you accidentally plug in any batteries into your Blackmagic camera or your SDI converters, they're all the same. That's what I really like about you guys. You will not ruin the camera. You will not spoil it. And what's really interesting, you keep this port very easy format. You've got this positive and negative, positive being inside, negative being outside, check. That's it. Hey, hey, 
You guys at Apple, you got to learn something from Black Magic. Keep it simple. You can save all the file in Cinema DNG RAW, or you can film in 4K ProRes 422. Now take a look at how much of dynamic range leverages that you have. As you can see, this is what we see during filming. Now look at how much of color leverage and dynamic range leverage when we deal with this in the post. Wow! Now any DSLR filmers can tell you this. Pulling focus with your photo lenses is a headache. Now with your Blackmagic 4K camera, you can actually fit in cine lenses. And at the same time, this focus button here will turn on a very accurate focus peaking. So when you hit your mark, you can actually see this beautiful, very sharp green outline telling you that you've got your focus nailed. And that's what we really like about this. Peef number one. This thing here has almost no battery life. Ow! Ooh, hot! This baby here gets hot very fast, very easily. Now the heat dissipation is crazy. So if you've been filming for one hour's worth of footage, you, ah, you can't even open the latch and... Ah, even the SSD is going to burn your hand off. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, this side, this side, this side. Ah, plus point. After a long day's work, it's so hot, you can use it for hot treatment. Ah, yeah. Be warned, it's very fussy with the SSD card that you put in there. It is so fussy, you like to check this table first, especially if we are shooting RAW, the Cinema DNG. Now, we wouldn't want to take the chance. We are using the Sondis Extreme Pro as recommended. Now, ever since we have been using this card, we have never had a drop frame. <sighs> There's no way you can hold this and still look smart. Man, no visible playback file name. Guys, make our life easy. You know, every time we film, we have to have a person roll one, take one, scene one, cut. Come on, just give us a file name. Maybe you know something I don't. How do you check the file name after you check playback? So there you have it. What my crew and I think about a Blackmagic 4K camera. And having said that, we cannot wait to get our hands on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini and also the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera. Till we see you again. That way I can use the connector to power my Blackmagic. I can use the same connector to plug it into my SDI HD, uh, HDMI converter. Look at that, goes in. Aha. Look at that, goes in. Aha. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Goes in. Aha. Listen.